First of all, I thought it was a very successful meeting. We achieved most of the objectives that we set out to. The main takeaways I had from the meeting were several. Huh? One is that we are not dealing with a homogenous group. There is a continuum around which the countries are in terms of going, heading towards a um, parliamentary front. But what is clear is all the countries who participated want to have some form of a parliamentary front in their country, in some form. The question is how do they do it given that some people, the opposition as well as the ruling party are for it, but then some others, the engagement of the two is a little different. So um, how, the question is then, how do we help them to all get there? And I think in terms of FAO, it is clear that um, we have our work cut out for us. It is not um, one size fits all, but there's um, a great part of that work has to do with the advocacy that we have to help the countries to do in the country themselves speaking with the other parliamentarians, be it in the upper or the lower house. Speaking even at the community level, um, the, the parliamentarian from St. Lucia made a very good point about the importance of engaging the community in this whole quest to get both sides of the political divide involved. And I think that is the whole key message about the parliamentary fronts, that food and nutrition security is more than just the job of one government or one ministry. It has to be involving the civil society, it has to involve academia, it has to involve everybody because it impacts on everybody's life. So the advocacy to me is a big part of what we have to do. The capacity building even within the parliamentarians themselves so that they understand their future roles in all of this and, um, and then seeing them all get to that point where they need to be, that they understand what are the main priorities and how they can push the agenda along. I was very impressed by the uh, capacity the MPs have to, to read the uh, regional and national context. Um, and it's a good perception for FAO that the way we have chosen to achieve the uh, SDGs, that means to involve uh, non-state actors, parliamentarians, academia, as uh, Listra was saying, um, is a very, very interesting way because it gives you uh, the opportunity to collect from the ground um, the problems and to involve people and communities in search of solutions by themselves. Uh, FAO is a tool, is a facilitator of this mechanism. Um, we think that to achieve the, millennia, the, the, the SDGs is a so complex achievement that we need really the involvement of all actors. Um, working together, exchanging experiences, um, even trying to, to go above their divisions. And FO is there as a tool, as a facilitator of, of this mechanism. Mm, the achievement of zero anger uh, challenge uh, will be an eff an, a common effort. It, would, it won't be uh, an effort of technical divisions of FAO. It's why it's so important for us, the uh, FAO offices in, in, on ground, because they are the ones who are able and really capable to, to catch the real needs of people and try to transform it in FAO's uh, task. SDGs are so important because it's not just for developing countries. It's an exercise involving all the countries of the world. Europe, Asia, Africa, Latin America and Caribbean countries. We are all involved in trying to create a world uh, without anger, without poverty, with a sustainable development. 
and giving people the uh, basic needs uh, that are in the same time as we are uh, saying this morning basic rights basic needs are basic rights and all of uh, regions of the world have to work together to achieve these goals um, and the parliament a uh, very key role very critical role even in europe even in europe uh, it was very difficult to convince the European Parliament that they have to have to set up their own alliance uh, because they have problems of sustainability, there are problems of malnutrition, there are many problems of access to land even in Europe. So this exchange of experiences we are facilitating and uh, the knowledge sharing we are facilitating uh, among continents. The South-South cooperation is a key issue in this work FL is doing because Brazil uh, would help Sierra Leone and maybe an experience made in Bolivia will be useful in, uh, in Togo or in Benin and Europe can sustain a triangular cooperation between Latin America and Africa. And I think that this is the, 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 the critical and central role of FAO uh, a UN as, uh, as a UN agency to put all these actors together and to try to, to achieve the goal of the SDGs together as a common project of humanity. Well, the first thing we have to do, of course, is prepare the final summary of the meeting to identify the recommendations and the roadmaps which were identified by the countries themselves. And then using those roadmaps, see how we can help to push the agenda along. Um, as I indicated, some countries have, like for example, Haiti, the immediate next step that they have asked is for us to have a meeting with the delegation with the, the FAO representative in Haiti and the sub-regional office to now decide what are the concrete steps we have to do. We have a broad outline, but now what are the exact concrete steps we have to do to help Haiti along. They have asked for specific technical assistance. So then we put, prepare a proposal to give them that assistance. For some of the other countries, as I indicated, because there are different steps along, there's a regional project that we are putting together to provide that assistance. We have identified some of the key components of that project, so we now have to put it together in the budget and go back to the countries and, and let them agree, find out if they agree on the steps that we have identified, the kind of assistance that we have needed, that is needed, and then with the funding now, implement, which is the, the main thing implementation and that means the capacity building that is required, the exchanges that they've asked for, the advocacy, the funding that is involved and even our technical people going to some of these parliaments and speaking to the parliamentarians, helping the people who came to the meeting, provide that dialogue for them, for them to have that discussion both sides of the political divide because FAO is that neutral body that brings it all together and helps them to see it on a wider agenda in terms of hunger, malnutrition, the sustainable development goals. I think our role as advocates of the, um, the, the sustainable development goal agenda is very important here. So we, we help the countries to see the bigger picture.